Hello friends, welcome to Jaws Drops channel, and this is our second episode dedicated to the stars of the Harry Potter film franchise. We're going to show you how the actors looked back in 2001 and how they look now. Stick around until the end of this video and you'll find out the name of the best seeker in Hogwarts history. We promise it'll be a surprise for you. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe to the channel. Let's start. Wait! I did my waiting! 12 years of it! In Azkaban! Even before taking on the role of Sirius Black, Gary Oldman had a successful career. He appeared in notable films like Sid and Nancy, Leon, and The Fifth Element. After the Potter series, he played Commissioner Gordon in Nolan's Batman film series and won an Oscar for his transformation into Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour. By the way, on Radcliffe's 14th birthday, Old Man brought his bass guitar to the set and taught him how to play the Beatles Come Together. The actors are still friends to this day. Currently, Old Man continues to actively work in the industry. This year, the much-talked-about film Oppenheimer was released with his participation. Now he's on his fifth marriage to the writer Giselle Schmidt. It's not a bad place for a bath. Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Robert Pattinson, who portrayed Cedric Diggory, has evolved into a successful actor. Prior to The Goblet of Fire, he had only appeared in The Ring of the Nibelungs, but afterwards, he took on the role of Vampire Edward in The Twilight Saga. Later, Pattinson shifted towards more serious and dramatic roles in films like Remember Me, Water for Elephants, The Lighthouse, and Tenet. By the way, in his first scene in The Goblet of Fire, Cedric jumps from a tree. Pattinson came up with this move himself and later replicated it in Twilight. One of Pattinson's recent works is his portrayal of Batman in 2022. Since 2018, he has been in a relationship with actress Suki Waterhouse. One of the wizard's most rudimentary skills is levitation, or the ability to make objects fly. Warwick Davis took on three roles, Professor Flitwick, the Goblin Griphook, and the manager of Gringotts Bank. When Davis was 11 years old, his grandmother heard about a casting call for individuals under four feet tall for Star Wars, launching his career. One of Davis's recent roles again was in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Currently, Davis has his own studio, Inch High Productions, specializing in music and commercial videos that Warwick mainly directs and produces himself. He lives in London with his wife, actress Samantha Burroughs, and they have two children. Saint like. I'm holy. I'm holy, Fred. You get it? Oliver Phelps, who played George Weasley, is 13 minutes older than his twin brother. The Philosopher's Stone marked their film debut and was a significant joy for them since the brothers were avid Harry Potter fans. While acting didn't become Oliver's lifelong pursuit, he actively engages in charity work and travels extensively. He even created his own website, Joppy World, where he shares stories about the places he has visited. Oliver's most recent collaboration with his brother was the 2021 horror film Last Night in Soho. Since 2008, he has been in a relationship with Katie Hampson, and in 2016, the couple welcomed their first child after getting married. Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. Oh, I'm sorry, George. <laughs> I'm only joking. I am Fred. James Phelps, who portrayed Fred Weasley, much like his brother, is not heavily involved in acting. James is active in charitable organisations such as Help Harry, Help Others and Virgin Money Giving. The actor is also an enthusiastic participant in the Three Peaks project, where amateur climbers conquer three peaks within a day. James keeps his personal life private, but it's known that he has two dogs, one of which is named Rupert. It makes one wonder, in whose honour? Not my daughter, you bitch! <laughs> Julie Walters portrayed Molly, the mother of the Weasley family. By that time, she had already earned two Oscar nominations and was known for her roles in Billy Elliot and Buster. After concluding the Wizarding series, Walters worked on projects such as Mamma Mia, Paddington and Mary Poppins Returns. Since 1997, she has been married to Grant Roffey, a member of the Highway Patrol Association, and they have a daughter. In late 2020, Walters stepped away from the film industry due to stage 3 colon cancer. Since then, she has undergone successful treatment, but does not plan to return to work in the film industry. Students in the corridor! They 
are supposed to be out of bed, you blithering idiot. Oh. Sorry, Mum. David Bradley is undoubtedly familiar to the vast majority of viewers for his role as Argus Filch in the Harry Potter film series. However, Bradley is primarily a serious theatre actor with a Laurence Olivier Award. He has also appeared in several notable projects such as Doctor Who, Game of Thrones and Les Miserables. Bradley has been married to Rosanna since 1978 and the couple has a child. He is a fan of the football club Aston Villa. Fine day, Sunday. In my opinion, best day of the week. Why is that, Dudley? Because there's no post on Sundays. Right you are, Harry. Richard Griffiths portrayed the malicious Uncle Vernon Dursley. Despite the fact that on-screen characters of Radcliffe and Griffiths never found common ground, the actors had a lot of interaction and worked together in real life. For instance, in 2008, they both starred in the play Equus. Griffiths also appeared in films such as Sleepy Hollow and Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. He lived with his wife, Heather Gibson, for 33 years. Unfortunately, Griffiths passed away in 2013 due to complications following heart surgery, but he is remembered by those close to him as a wonderful and warm-hearted person. Not now, Popkins, but when the Masons arrive. Fiona Shaw, whose real surname is Wilson, played Aunt Petunia Dursley. She was a prominent theatre actress before the Potter series and went on to feature in projects like The Black Dahlia and Dorian Gray. Remember the kitchen scene where Petunia looks out the window and owls stare back at her. To keep the owls focused on the actress, dead mice were hung on her apron. Shaw's most recent work includes the series Andor. Since 2018, she has been married to economist Sonali Dharaniagala. He's just a boy. Helen McCrory brought Narcissa Malfoy to life on screen, one of the few dark characters that audiences found themselves empathising with. Initially chosen for the role of Bellatrix, McCrory turned it down due to pregnancy. She made her screen debut in Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles, and later appeared in projects like Becoming Jane, Skyfall, and the series Peaky Blinders. On April 6, 2021, McCrory passed it away from breast cancer, a profound loss felt deeply by her on-screen son, Tom Felton. The actress was married to actor Damien Lewis, and they had two children. Eat. You'll feel better. David Thewlis, born David Wheeler, portrayed the werewolf and wizard Remus Lupin. Interestingly, he had previously attempted to join the Potter universe during the casting for the role of Professor Quirrell. Thewlis is known for his roles in Naked, The Big Lebowski, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, and The Theory of Everything. He is also a director, screenwriter, and author. In 2016, Thewlis married for the fourth time to French artist Hermine Poitou. His latest project involved voicing the character of the Rat King in Amazing Maurice. I am Professor Trelawney. Together we shall cast ourselves into the future. Emma Thompson, a two-time Academy Award winner, recipient of two Golden Globes and two BAFTA Awards, played Professor Sybil Trelawney. She agreed to take on this role in large part because of her four-year-old daughter Gaia, a fervent Harry Potter fan. Interestingly, the glasses she wore during filming were real, leading the actress to experience bouts of dizziness. After completing her work in the Wizarding World, Thompson continued to contribute to numerous projects, including Love Actually, I Am Legend, Bridget Jones's Baby, and Cruella. Thompson's most recent work is a role in the film What's Love Got To Do With It? She is married to actor Greg Wise, who is seven years her junior. The couple has a daughter and an adopted child from Rwanda. Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey and back last night. Did you really? How'd it go? Oh, oh, did you ever... I mean, that was very wrong indeed, boys. Very wrong of you. Mark Williams portrayed Arthur Weasley. Before his foray into the wizarding world, Williams had a background in theatre and had appeared in numerous television series, earning a degree from the University of Oxford. Post Harry Potter, Williams created several successful documentary films and appeared in projects like Doctor Who and Father Brown. Currently, the actor is less active in front of the camera and prefers to keep his personal life private. It is known that he is married to a woman named Diana and has one child. I believe you're familiar with this particular brew. 
Brendan Gleeson gained a fan base even before his role as Mad-Eye Moody, also known as Alistair Moody, and the imposter Barty Crouch Jr. The first significant success for Gleeson came with the historical drama Braveheart, and he later appeared in successful projects such as Gangs of New York, Troy, and in Bruges. Gleeson and his wife Mary have four sons, one of whom also appeared in the Harry Potter films as Bill Weasley. In his free time, the actor enjoys playing the violin and mandolin. No, enough! I will have order! Stephen King considers Dolores Umbridge to be the greatest and most believable villain created since Hannibal Lecter. According to King, Imelda Staunton incredibly convincingly brought this character to the screen. However, Staunton is also notable for her roles in other films, including Much Ado About Nothing, Vera Drake, Maleficent, and Downton Abbey. Staunton's most recent work was portraying Queen Elizabeth II in the fifth season of The Crown. She is married to English actor Jim Carter, and the couple has a daughter. Did you ever notice that when Harry and Ron are checking out the display with the names of the best Quidditch players in Hogwarts history, next to Harry's father's name is the name of Minerva McGonagall? She actually played on the school's Quidditch team and excelled at it, but got injured in a match against Slytherin. That's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified about new videos from the world of Harry Potter. It'll be coming your way very soon. See you on Jaws Drops channel.